Hello and welcome to a priori story, timeless. I'm here with two sleuths who may fall asleep during this reading of Amsi Ahimsaka Angulimala. The terrible things that he had done and the wretchedness of his life dawned on Angulimala. That means finger bone necklace and he broke down and sobbed he threw down his weapons bowed at the buddha's feet and asked to become a monk the buddha ordained him and together they set out for sabati a few days later as the buddha and angulimala were sitting in the jetavana king pasadenadi and a retinue of fully armed soldiers came to visit. Where are you off to, O king? asked the Buddha. Has a border dispute broken out with Magadha? No, Lord, said the king. There is a terrible murderer operating in the kingdom. Because of him, people in outlying areas pack up their belongings, leave their villages, and move to the safety of the city. Now the citizens have petitioned me to get rid of him, and I am setting out to find him. If you heard that this murderer had given up his terrible life and become a monk, what would you do, O king? I suppose I would bow to him and treat him as I would any other monk. But is such a thing possible, Lord? The Buddha stretched out his arm and said, "This." O king is Angulimala. The king drew back in fear, but the Buddha reassured him. Do not be afraid, O king. There is no need for alarm. The king came closer, looked carefully at the monk, and asked, Is this really Angulimala, lord? Yes, O king. Then he addressed Angulimala. What is your father's name? What clan does your mother belong to? My father is Gaga, and my mother is Mantani. Then may they be a good cheer. If you need any requisites, I will make an effort to provide them for you, said the king nervously. Thank you, sire, but I have enough robes, said Angulimala. Then King Pasenadi came and sat near the Buddha and said, Lord, it is truly wonderful that without stick or sword, you are able to pacify those whom I cannot pacify with sticks or swords. The Buddha smiled. Thank you. It's very tough to stay asleep in the presence of the awake one, huh? Even the sloth will stay awake. Goodbye. Thank you.